All right, this is Dylan Hovey here with Top Deck Productions in our first round of our league. Before we start playing, like I said, these cards are brought to you by Card Hoarder, and they're the best bot chain in the business. And if you have anything that you need with their with their Magic Online needs, you should check out them. <coughs> okay, so since kind of a sketcher, there's no green source, but we've got three, four draw steps to look at a green source, and any land in our deck besides Basic Swamp is a green source, and we have a removal spell, a Death Shadow, so I think I'm going to keep this hand. This is definitely on the low end of capability. Couple line gorge. A little zoo deck or planet's dredge. Flame blade adept. Okay. Oh, our lightning bolt's gonna be good. Alright, let's take a look at the top of their library. I'm not gonna bolt this yet. Burning inquiry. Okay. So what do I want out of my hand? I want to be able to kill this. So I think I'm just going to go like maximum amount of... Because I don't really care if any of these get discarded. Right now we're just looking for lands. So I'm going to wait on this second Mishra's Bobble so that we don't get that random card dis discarded. This is getting lightning bolted for sure. <coughs> I'll be able to get low enough to have this Death Shadow be relevant without getting... Smacked for four. Hopefully some of these thought seasons go. I could have been proactive and thought seize them, but I think I would rather just deal with this. Okay. I'm gonna wait on this. Alright, so we drew another land and we got delirium, which is good. Hopefully we don't see a hollow one here. Or a Gurmag Angler. So they ditched a Flame Wake Phoenix, which if they have a hollowed one would be pretty scary. I find this deck to be very difficult to beat if the opponent is running well. It's just the nature of the deck. Okay, so that's beatable. So let's bobble them. Could have saved that to bobble myself, but I think I would like to just churn through my deck. They have Collective Brutality. Okay, so that means I'm going to have to deal with this. I'll probably end up, my turn sequence will probably be Thoughtseize Fatal Push. Okay. So I'm going to fetch now, because we don't need to draw any more lands. Okay, we drew a land. So they're going to get our abrupt decay. Goblin lore, goblin lore. So maybe they won't cast the brutality, which would be good for us. Right now we're in the market for just any any way to play over the top. A Tarmogoyf, because Tarmogoyf would be huge, it would even be larger than a Gurmag Angler. Definitely going to need a way to get out ahead of this of my opponent like hitting a flame wake or hitting a hollow one that brings this flame wake phoenix back so they ditched the brutality we knew about and the wooded foothills so we don't know any cards in our opponent's hand we can just always yield to that I'm gonna fatal push this I don't have any land, so we're good there. That's something to be aware of. I've actually never seen this interaction come up here where the flame blade gets large enough to come back. I wish that would have been a burning inquiry. We could have maybe gotten rid of some of our lands. Something like a Liliana would be decent here. All right. Let me just get a forest. One have double green online. We have double black. And we're just going to go up. Hopefully our opponent just doesn't top deck. But even if they top deck a way to kill this Liliana, we can abrupt decay the Flame Wake Phoenix. Or, I mean, to get Flame Wake Phoenix in play, we can abrupt decay the Flame Wake Phoenix and then edict the Gurmag Angler or the Hollowed One. 
this could let our opponent get like blood gas in the play, but which is you know a little scary. I'm gonna ditch this blood stain my eyes. We're we're not looking to take any more damage, I think, unless until we find a threat. Oh, I meant to go get another green source. I just clicked on the wrong land. This could be not good doing this because they don't have double black. And they could easily be sitting on... Okay, so they don't have another. I'm going to say they easily could have something like a blood gas in their hand and just have been unable to cast it. We know they have two spells in their hand because they're not playing lands. We just need some kind of big boy. Death Shadow, Tarmogoyf. A Blood Raid Elf off the top would be very good. Our Blood Raid helps, hits would be decent as we're down two Thought Seizes. Alright, so there's a Traverse. So that's, that's something. Okay, so there's a hollow one. The Phoenix comes back. So I do think that I'm going to still abrupt decay and then edict. Just trade my Liliana with both of these cards here. And then next turn look to traverse for a death shadow. We ditched the blood right off, which is a little sad. Should pop this out as it's getting large. Oh, that's pretty good. So I actually can go, I can do it all. So let's go like this. Black. I think I'm actually just gonna traverse for a blood right elf because our our this could get easily get um this could get lightning bolted and I don't really want to do that. And I don't really want to wait for a Tarmogoyf. So I think what I'm just gonna do is go green, black, get that, edict, and then traverse for a blood right elf. I don't want to put myself into a position where my like traverse target can get lightning bolted for no value. Like that's just gonna feel Kind of gross. The worst case scenario is our opponent has like a Gurmag Angler. But like the Angler would take a very specific set of cards to get us out of there. To get us back in this game, I mean. Like we need two of our Lilianas or some Tarmogoyfs. So our, basically our bad hits would be our two Thought Seizes and our two Thought Seizes are two Brutalities, our one Fatal Push, and our two Inquisitions. So we do have some we do have some duds. It's interesting that they tapped out of the black mana. I think they would have should have kept that up. Nothing. Okay, so casting Blood Bread on an open board is always a little mopey, but we're not going to cast that Thought Seize. So let's spin the wheel. Show me a Tarmogoyf. There we go. This card's insane. We went over a street wraith. And that this is what is very, very nice about these this Death Shadow deck, this build right here. So this gets bolted. So we sniffed out the lightning bolt, but we have the biggest guy on the block here. We could have a problem if our opponent hits like a flame wake or Gurmag Angler again just because of Flame Wake Phoenix. So basically afraid of Angler. Goblin lore. So that's basically so they hit, ditched a hollow one and another flame wake. So we need to finish this game quickly.
I think I'm going to check out their last card because if they drew an angler or something, it's just that bad for us. We need to make sure that we, like, we have, we've got to see if we can get that. Because they easily could have just had it be the last card in their hand. Okay. And I'm going to play this so that I can traverse for a Blood Braid Elf, as that would be lethal next turn if I hit it. So we're in a lot. We're still in some trouble if our opponent. So there's a stomping ground. So here comes Flashback of Faithless Looting, probably. They kind of have to, yeah. This is going to give me a tapped red source. Okay. Do this so we can get that good F6 value. Oh, my stomping ground's gone, so I actually am out of red sources. Something that is a little sketchy, because we don't play the basic mountain, so there's only two of them in the deck. So maybe that'll be something that we can pay attention to and maybe change moving forward. So they can't cast Gurmag Angler, and they can't cast Hollow One unless they hit a Street Wraith. Vexing Devil, Blood Ghast. So we've got a Lightning Bolt is lethal, a Kolagon's Command is lethal, um, so we've got two, one, two, two traverses, one traverse of Blood Elves. We have, we have plenty of draws here. That wasn't one of them, but. We just need to fade one draw step. <coughs> Very tight game. It's all because of this 6 7 that are 3 2 left behind. Okay. I don't know what they're looking for. They need a land that comes into play untapped in order to cast Gurmag Angler or Hollow One. And then all bets are off, if that happens. Excuse me. All right. <clears throat> so, something that I've got to be working on with this deck is I don't know if this is like a Command Blood Bright Elf deck matchup or if this is a play over the top with Team or Battle Rage and try to counter some of their enablers. I know that I like Stubborn Denial a lot more on the play. I don't really like it on the draws. I can't get underneath a turn one Burning Inquiry. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to try to play over the top of these Battle Rages and cut the Blood Braid Elves. And then cut one Collective Brutality, then bring in another K Command as it's something that can match up uh, with... Um, match up with Hollow One and it's the Flame Wake Phoenixes plus Recur our Tarmor Voice, which are going to be which are the best our best cards in this matchup. On the play, I'm going to look to bring in these Stubborn Denials so that I can be able to get underneath like a turn one um, Burning Inquiry. Though I could just bring them in and maybe cut something like. A couple fatal pushes and like two Lilianas. Because fatal push isn't great. It really only kills the Flame Wake Phoenix for any sort of value. I think I like that. Liliana is not super great. I'd like to bring a couple more in on the draw on the play, but that's probably better than Liliana's better than a brutality. So let's go like this. Let's try this out. <clears throat> this hands. Hopefully we don't get burning in Kareed. This is a death shadow, double death shadow on two. Followed up by third one, so my opponent mulligans. Which that's always good for the there's few things that I like more than thought seizing my opponent after they get after they mulligan. They kept on six. 
So I'll probably get my first land. It'll all depend. I don't think I want to fetch before I street race because I would not mind drawing a third land so that I can get green, red, and blue. No. Okay. That's good. All right. So they put a card on the bottom. So yeah, we're going to Street Wraith first. Jeez. Okay, so our hand's made. I don't think there's any need to Street Wraith again. Like, we can just hit the pump the brakes a little bit. There's no need to go down um, too quickly. We can always just cycle this if we need to. All right. They have a Raging Ravine. So my opponent's not really doing anything. So we're going to go down to 12, fetch shock to 9, and put two 4-4s four into play. There's the Raging Ravine. Don't burn any inquiry. All right, sweet. We're, gonna cycle, we're not going to cycle the street race until we need to, though. So that lightning bolt actually means that we could kill our opponent next turn. So I'm not going to fetch into it yet, just to keep it off their mind. But if my opponent doesn't block, then we easily could go cycle bolt ourselves and just 20 them. Leaves us open to a, um, a lightning bolt from our opponent. So we got to do definitely be a little weary of the potential of that happening. There's lightning bolts just like become events on this board, which is kind of sweet. Different angle that the deck didn't have. And now it does. <clears throat> okay, so there's the Bloodstained Mire. We knew about that. My opponent just holds this back. Okay, there's another flame like it up. So we know two out of the three cards that they have. Jeez. So I'm going to attack. I think I'm going to go for it. Like, they either bolt me. I just lose the bolt, and it's only one card. All right, so I am going to fetch, because that's going to happen anyways. But I'm not going to cycle the Street Wraith. And then just play another Death Shadow and a Tower Wife. We're dead to two bolts, I guess. But that is it. Okay. So I need to have bolt bolt in their hand. Because we can double block this flame blade adept. If they go like goblin lore into push me, I guess that also could be bad. So the blood stain mile is gone. Okay, so there we go. Game first match in the books. We'll be back for round two.